Hi everybody. This is going to be a video about my Sailor Moon clock and watch collection. We'll start with these watches. Um, first off, I'll start with this one. This is a Sailor Moon R watch. It has a Sailor Moon R logo. This is based off the movie Sailor Moon R, Promise of a Rose. It has Princess Serena on it. And the scene where Sailor Moon and Tuxedo Mask kiss. It's a very beautiful watch. It's got the Sailor Moon logo on the back. As you can see, it's a really old watch. But for its age and how many times I've wore it and other things, it's in really great condition. Next I have this watch. This has a picture of Sailor Moon posing. In the band it has Sailor Moon logo. And then it has poses of the other Sailor Scouts. I've only wore this maybe one time. I don't want to damage it. It's really nice. It's got the Sailor Moon logo on the back. Next I have this watch. This is a um, watch with uh, Serena in the face. In the band it has a Sailor Moon logo. And then a little collage of the other Sailor Scouts. It's kind of weird. This, um, this is actually a scene from the uh, episode. Um, I can't remember which one, unfortunately, but this one has a weird picture of Sailor Venus in it as a Sailor Scout where the rest of them are in their regular clothes. Kind of weird. And then it's got the Sailor Moon logo on the back as well. Next, this watch here, when I bought it, it was one of my favorites. I wore it a lot. Unfortunately, since the watch was kind of old, the band didn't like me wearing it, and it started falling apart. As you can see, I tried fixing it with tape, but it was a lost cause. The band had Luna and Artemis on it, and the Sailor Moon logo on the other side. This side was fine, actually. I tried to get a new band for it. But it just wasn't the same after that. Even tried decorating it. The face has Luna on it. And what I really liked about it is it had Artemis and he goes around as the second hand. It's really cute. The other side it has the Sailor Moon logo as well. These all came from the same watch company. I paid about twenty dollars, I think, for each one of these, except for the Sailor Moon R one. I can't remember how much I paid for it. But they all have their original boxes. I still have. Next over here, I have a watch I bought from a watch um, builder in Australia off of eBay. This is not the original band that came with it. I actually bought this one. It's a pretty big watch. On the face it has Eternal Sailor Moon and the other Super Sailor Scouts. It's a really nice watch. It's water resistant on the back. Stainless steel. Really nice quality. Didn't pay too much for this. Around the same price as the other ones, I think. Next I have this one. This one's my favorite. It's my new favorite since the Luna ones. I can't wear anymore. On the face, it's got Neo Queen Serenity. I don't know if you can see very well on the camera here. It actually has little glowing hearts that show up depending on the light reflected in it. It's really nice. This is the original band that came with it. This also came from a watch uh, maker in Australia. 
Next I have this watch. It's a, um, I'm not, not sure exactly who made it. It's a little bubble watch. In the picture it's got Sailor V and Sailor Moon from the manga. See if I can open it up. go. So you can see it's a digital watch. This watch actually doesn't keep time, unfortunately. But I keep it with my collection. It's got a weird um, array of cartoon characters, random cartoon characters inside. I suppose somebody made this, but I'm not sure. Next, this is a watch that I bought off eBay as well. Um, I was told it worked, but it needed a new battery. Put a new new battery in it, and it still didn't work. So there's something wrong mechanically inside. But it's a really nice watch. It's got little cartoony fan art looking pictures on the band of Sailor Moon and Luna. Got a weird orange cat though. And the face has a little chibi version of Sailor Moon in it. It's really nice. Wish it worked though. Next I have a Sailor Moon clock. This one doesn't keep time either, but it was brand new when I bought it. Um it's ticking now and it works just fine, other than the fact that it doesn't keep time. It's like an hour or two off. Not sure exactly what went wrong with it. I still keep it ticking because it looks nice. And last but not least, I have this really rare and very highly collectible Eternal Sailor Moon clock. This came straight from Japan. I bought it at a recent convention I went to. Well, likely in my, uh, fiance bought it for me. Came in its original box with its original manu manual. It's all in Japanese though, but self-explanatory. It's, um, it's a talking alarm clock. Kept all the original stickers on it. How much it cost. It's really beautiful little chibi uh, clock. This is what it sounds like when you turn it on. If you look this up on uh, YouTube, you'll see many other videos of her and you might even find out what she says. I um, can't remember at the moment. So this is my collection of clocks and watches. So please let me know what you think. Leave me some comments, some likes. Alright, thank you. Bye.